Hello and welcome to another update video about ADA. ADA is coming down a bit further here. Uh, I've put on the chart now a channel. I think we can draw a channel here um, in which the price is moving, the chart is moving. This is less than ideal what the chart is doing. Um, it is not a very clear impulse anymore in my opinion from the low here. So this just you know sort of takes some confidence away in this movement. Um, you know that my view is that there is still a chance, of course, for another, you know, for another low. Um, ADA could certainly go to 30 cents or even lower. Um, however, as long as we have an uptrend, we can sort of temporarily focus on that. But the choppy nature of it, all this up and down and the cutting into the price ranges from the previous highs and so on, that is not really clearly impulsive anymore. Um, and it's not great, to be honest. And also, the strong rejection we had up here isn't great. So what I would like to see actually to sort of give more confidence into this movement and that it is a substantial breakout, I would like ADA to push in this third wave to the 45 and a half cent level. Yeah, that is what I would like to see because it just gives, maybe even, even higher because, um, of the internals of this, this third wave. Yeah, so what we have here, um, no, I need to put that back. What we have here is the situation where we at least had a local bottom here on the 21st of October. At that point in the video, I made it very clear that I expect a strong recovery. How high? Yeah, that is what the market needs to show, but uh, we certainly went higher than, um, originally anticipated in an imminent sell-off scenario, which made me then put this breakout scenario on the chart. But then you can see here things that happened. This move wasn't great, but it was okay. This move was certainly very strong, but the fifth wave here was very weak. So we made a slightly higher high, that's fine. Therefore I label it as five waves and give it a wave one. This was wave two low, fine. But what is happening here now is only three waves at the moment. So what I could imagine, there's two things I can imagine that, that happen here, um, which all of, and, and, and all of them are sort of a bit, not, let's say not clearly impulsive. So let's talk about what, what's happening here now. First of all, we are in the channel. As long as we're in the channel, you know, we have certainly upside movement, right? And we can focus on these support levels. So anybody who's trading this, you know, um, I mean, you probably know what you're doing, hopefully. You, you can you can act as a pullback trader. You can buy the pullbacks to the trend line. I mean, we had one, two, three, four pullbacks now to the trend line. There could be another one, you know, and if that holds, then we can move again to the top of the channel. What could happen now certainly is that we come down again to the support level of this channel, find support and move up again. You know, that would be another entry point for anybody who wants to trade this with a stop loss either below the channel or below the previous swing low. I think that is pretty straightforward. Um, how would we count that in terms of the Elliott waves? Well, I would be able to count this actually as a diagonal pattern, not as an impulse. So there are a few ways how this could be counted. We could say that if we are in a diagonal, that would be a leading diagonal so that we don't have an impulse. At the moment, what I have sketched out here on the chart is an impulse. The difference is that this would also be part of a breakout scenario. However, it is a wave count that gives less confidence because it can easily be counted as corrective price action as well. So it's nothing where I would go in very aggressively, um, but it could be counted here as a wave one. So the wave one could sit here or sit here. There's two possibilities, um, but let's say this is a wave one, then this would be the wave two, that's fine. Then we would have in fact here the wave three already done because it is a corrective move basically, or let's say in a diagonal, you can have those overlaps. Then we would be doing a wave four now that could certainly hit the channel here and then another wave five to the upside. So you could be moving in this channel, right? So I would be open to the idea that, especially if we lose that swing low at 40.1 cents, that we hit the support of the channel and that would be another, you know, if you want to trade this, another entry opportunity, provided the support level is holding. Now that's one option. The other option is that in fact, we are doing an impulse here that we had here, our wave one. However, that wave two was never finished because you will remember that we talked about hmm, for a wave two. I mean, we came down far enough, 
but actually we, we missed sort of the 50% retracement. So my thought is here that it could be that, yeah, wave one was here where we had it, but that this was actually only the wave A. We have an overshooting wave B. At the moment, this is likely as we have only three waves. If we get five waves up, this will not be possible anymore, but at the moment it's a very clear three wave structure and the move down, to be honest, looks quite impulsive. So we would rather confirm this idea that this is um, a wave C of two. Now in this wave C, it would actually be quite likely to break the trend line. So if we break the trend line, we could shift to this scenario and you know what's probably then coming. And then we have support at 37.4 cents, that is the 50% retracement and 36.4 cents, that is the um, 61.8 retracement and, and that's sort of the last key level here for this wave two, the 34.9 cent level, the 78.6% retracement level. If we lose this level, then it is very, very unlikely that this is still a wave two. And then I think we have to sw switch back to the scenario where we're expecting another low. Um, bear in mind that is still not off the table, that new low um, scenario. We have something at the moment that has morphed into a movement that actually looks fairly corrective. So in the best case, actually a diagonal. Um, as an impulse, it is it would be very, very choppy, okay? Um, possible here with this wave C of two, yeah, but um, then we would expect some short-term downside before we move up further. So the, I think they are the two key scenarios, either counting this as a diagonal pattern, which is not the scenario that gives us most confidence, um, or here this impulse scenario, impulsive scenario, but we have an overshooting wave B. They are fairly rare. They do happen in crypto, yes, but they are still fairly rare. Something actually that um, I wouldn't normally count as primary scenario with an overshooting wave B. And uh, in this scenario, however, it would explain why we only get three waves to the upside and would then come down. And of course, you know, this could just be an extended corrective move to the upside. We come still, we, can, we make a new lower low. That is absolutely possible, but um, I would only see this as very likely if we get, to, you know, we want to get signals, right? If we go below 34.9 cents, because again, below the 78.6% Fibonacci retracement, below that level, you it is very unlikely still that it is a wave two. So it would morph into something more bearish. So yeah, these are sort of the key, the key scenarios here at the moment um, in the, let's say in the in the best case what we would actually get but i don't see that happen anymore really is that we have the one two setup here this is just another one two setup here in a wave three we would then have to hold 40.1 cents and push higher and reach sort of the 45 and a half cent level so we break out above the channel so if we get a break above the channel in an impulsive way that would be a strong strong bullish signal I don't see that in the immediate short term, but if it happens, that would be a very, very strong bullish signal and a strong indication that the uptrend is continuing clearly impulsively. Something for the watch list here, certainly. And, um, you know, maybe today we've got a bit of a Sunday gap here. It will certainly get interesting towards the weekly candle close. Either way, hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.